Hi everyone, really quick video here. Um, just a little something that we was uh, always had in mind uh, right from the start, but what we really wasn't sure how it would work until we actually got the product back and tested it. Um, but now we have, um, we are just blown away at how this really affects the product. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to start by uh, taking the the room item sheet, which is the everyone's going to be getting uh, at least a couple of these room item sheets um, so I'll just pop out some of the parts from that uh, this one here and this one here so th this would be basically the clone chamber um, that you want to do and you've got the the normal side and the reverse side okay so with a lot of the items you're put, putting together once you put them together like the uh, the medi bed, the crates, and to a certain extent, things like the reactor cells, you might just want to pop the bottom bit out and you know put in the uh, the plasma bit into into here as well. But other than that, most of these parts, um, once you put them together, you really don't want to take them apart again. They're there, they're put together, um, and you store them away. And we'll we'll do a video on storage as well. But um, couple of the parts like the clone chamber you want to be able to assemble it one way and then pop it all together and then what and then actually assemble it a different way you want to be able to turn it around so that you can have the damaged side should you wish now the more you take something apart and pull it and um, put it together and take it apart what happens is you can get sort of fraying obviously this is a brand new part there's nothing here um, you can get kind of fraying of the edges, um, which is something you really don't don't want to happen, but would happen um, over time. So we wanted to basically combat that. Um, another thing that we wanted to combat was um, bringing it back to this part here. When something's designed and you've got you've got a bend in the card, which and not much card on the other side so there's a long piece of card long piece of card but a tiny thin piece of card here whenever you have a piece like that and you bend on a half cut you do risk um, the card fraying a little bit now we put all ours together with no problem at all except one of them as we bent it I think we we're just being careless um, we got a bit of fraying here and you can see that one's come apart slightly um, and so that's the kind of thing that we wanted to combat as well. Nobody else has done something um, this unique um, in card before to such small details. So um, with these, um, whether it's these, your crates, or whatever it is going to be, you want to make this stuff last as long as you possibly can. So using the clone chamber as the example, all we actually did, and it was so simple to do, um, was we just added a little bit of super glue along the edges here um, and along the edges here and on these bits here and this where it kind of slots in on the edge there um, and I'll give you an example uh, here is a little uh, here's a here's a here's a, a, a buttress um, from the buttress and struts um, and if you wanted to kind of, because this is a very small part of it, it's got a little point on it, you could if you wanted to sort of fray that apart. Um, this doesn't really come under any kind of stress, but if you just chuck these in a box over time, who knows. Um, so all you do um, is grab some, grab some super glue. Other brands are available. One that's got a little brush on it, and you just very carefully just brush it on there, on that edge part here, and into there. Now what that does, and you could also, um, you could also just brush across the top here, because this is a part that's going to constantly slot in and out of the top of your set. Just like that. Okay, and that doesn't take very long to dry at all. And what's happening is, that super glue is is kind of seeping into the card and it's going very slightly inside of all the card and it's setting very very quickly 
um, and it creates a kind of a rock hard finish. Now, in the time it's taken me to speak about that, that's gone in and set. Now that is a, is like a knife now, and I couldn't fray that if I wanted to. Um, what's happening is it's actually like plastic now. So what's happening is the sides are kind of like plastic anyway. It's got sort of a plasticky finish um, in the card that we've used, but now you've got the edges are absolute, and that is rock solid. This top bit, oops, still a bit tacky on that top bit, um, but yet yeah, here that's very solid. So on the clone chamber. That's exactly what we've done. A little bit across the top. And you can actually hear that this is kind of... If I scrape the card here, I'll scrape it here, it's got that plasticky feel. And it really is absolutely solid. So with a clone chamber, assembling it as many times as you want, clips in, that's the the non that, that's the the damaged clone clone chamber as it were if i just pop that apart <laughs> kind of doing this for the camera so i'm trying to keep it on camera uh, assemble it around the other way there we go um assemble the other way around but because there is absolutely no chance of fraying, even at the very pointy edges here, the glue has seeped right in, and I can't pick that apart even if I wanted to. It is as solid as plastic. We did the same on the very edge of here. So on, which one is it? Doo -doo, where has it gone? I've lost it. So on here, on this one here, um, we just put a little bit round the top and again absolutely like plastic it's very simple to do <clears throat> we haven't tested it round the rest of the, the set here but I mean if you really wanted to go to town you really could protect almost every part of the set in this way um, and with the, the nice the nice finish we've got on here anyway which is a nice sort of smooth wipe clean finish um, and then this kind of plasticky side it might as well be made out of plastic rather than card and it really does add durability and strength to the overall um, use of the set um, I can imagine this extends the life of the set considerably um, so absolutely perfect really really good um, thing to be able to do um, and all you've got to do is pick, pick up um, some super glue uh, liquid super glue not gel of any kind um, or any kind of thick. This is the this is a, a and this one's got a little brush a brush in it, which is perfect. You want to just be able to brush it on, um, and it really does dry incredibly quickly as well. So um, and that's sharp now. I mean, if I really push that in there, that <laughs> I'd be bleeding. So uh, yeah, absolutely perfect. Really really good idea, um, and just something that you can do to protect your set and uh, you know really really extend the the life of what is potentially cardboard fantastic that's it all for now um, uh, see you guys on the next update